and thank you for tuning into our podcast, The RFP. My name is Lauren Smetko, Marketing Strategist at Freestyle Creative, and I'll be your host today. Our guest is Anna Roberts, Art Director at Freestyle Creative and President of Add2 OKC. We're excited to pick her brain about all things Add2 this year. Anna, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me and for highlighting Add2 OKC. <laughs> Of course, we're really excited to hear a little bit more about it today. I am so excited to be talking about this. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. <laughs> Yay. Well, perfect. You're the perfect guest then. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna, we want to learn a little bit more about you. Tell us about yourself and about your background. Yes. Um, so my name is Anna. So during the day, I work at Freestyle Creative with you, Lauren, um, as an art director. So I do a lot of graphic design and creative things. Um, and then last year, I joined Add2 OKC as their um, public service um, graphic designer. And that is ultimately why I got involved in Add2 OKC. Public service is something that's really important to me. And I'm really grateful to have um, opportunities to use the things that I'm good at to give back um, to our community in Oklahoma, and then also some just amazing nonprofits around the area. So that's a little bit about me, really passionate about public service. And then I just love meeting people. And that just lends really well to Add to OKC. <laughs> <laughs> well, very cool. Add to sounds like a great fit for you, Ben. So for some of our listeners who aren't familiar with Add2, what is Add2 OKC and how can they get involved? Yes. Okay. So Add2 OKC is a young professionals organization. You age out at 32. So everyone in um, our club or organization is 32 or younger. Um, we are affiliated with Ad Club. Um, so with the Ad Club in Oklahoma City. So we work very closely with them. I sit on their board and we get to plan events with them. And um, yeah, you get two free luncheons to Ad Club events. We're very much intertwined. But Ad 2, we have two main things that we do, networking and public service. So if you're interested in getting involved in giving back to the community. This is a great place to do that. Also starting to network when you're young in your career, early starting off, even, even as a student, you can join um, Attitude, help get you started. Very cool. So what made you wanna be part of the organization? I know you talked a little bit about the public service side earlier and that public service, public service is really near and dear to your heart. Yes, so I'll plug public service here for a little bit. <laughs> this is ultimately why I got involved in Ad2. Um, at the time, I was interning at Freestyle, and our creative director, um, Sunny Adams, she had been involved in Ad2 for years. We have roots in Ad2 um, way back, um, starting with Kelly Gann, our president. <laughs> so Freestyle's always been very involved in Ad2, and so she encouraged me like, hey, I'm aging out of this organization, but I've been involved in it for several years. Um, look at this cool, like this cool product that we put together um, for their public service client, which at the time was Free Mom Hugs, which is a huge organization um, that we're, we were really proud that we got to work with them. And so she was showing me everything that they got to do for them and how they were able to help them um, after they went viral, they went, had like they went viral on Twitter and to help them get them cool. like toolkits. Yeah. Toolkits to then um, grow, like grow as an organization and organization best practices and brand guides, things like that. So I thought that was really cool. And so I got involved last year and have loved it. I, last year, our client was the Down Syndrome Association of Central Oklahoma in, it was a bit of a challenge 2020, everything was challenging <laughs> with a whole pandemic. <laughs> and so something a lot of nonprofits were facing was struggles with fundraising, budgets were closing, people didn't, or like budgets were tightening, people didn't know, companies didn't know, individuals didn't know what was next, how long this pandemic was going to last. So giving significantly decreased. And also a lot of events that Oh, um, nonprofits normally have that are event fundraisers, you couldn't have events. So 
we worked with them to help put together an access, a successful virtual event on World Down Syndrome Day. And we worked with local news stations. We were able to provide them with a lot of um, like social media things to help make the event successful. And so that was really exciting getting to work with them. And that's ultimately the heart of add to what we do and why I'm excited to get involved and like to be still involved. <laughs> that's really exciting. So I heard you mention nonprofits. How does add to go about selecting the nonprofits each year? Yeah, so we currently have our application open for our 2021-2022 um, client. So if you are working in a marketing department or head of a nonprofit out there listening to this, you can go to our social media um, to find our application. It closes next week. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the podcast out soon enough, but we're selecting our client and we're going to be able to work with someone really cool in the Oklahoma area and get to put together a campaign for that. So for future reference of maybe applications are closed by the time that this is coming out, is there any certain criteria that add to looks with, with a nonprofit that they will then help with the public service projects? Hmm. Honestly, no. We look at what the needs are for that nonprofit and then the skill set of our team. And we're able to very easily narrow down what's the best fit. And we vote as a board what we want to move forward with, which client. There is an interview process. So we go through a discovery session with that client and talk through what they need, how we would be able to help them, what a approval process would look like. And for a lot of our young members in Add to OKC, especially students, this is a good way for them to get um, insight into what a discovery process would look like when they're in a real agency world. So there's not a strict um, guideline of what we're looking for in public service clients. We submit um, a book and a presentation to Add America. That's what a lot of um, other Add Tos do. And so we compete ultimately with this campaign that we put together. So what would make something, what would make a good campaign to try and win with? That's not the heart of what I think <laughs> most of us in Oklahoma City do this for. We actually haven't submitted in the past few years. We just, our heart is fully into the organization and supporting the nonprofit. And when we get to that point, there's been different road, roadblocks over the past couple of years. And it's just been like, oh, well, we did the part that matters. <laughs> I love so that. <laughs> it's my goal to submit just because we're doing some really cool stuff and to be able to ultimately, that's another opportunity to highlight that organization on a national sphere. Um, but that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. It sounds like there's a lot of really great opportunities for students and young professionals and nonprofits too, to get some extra leverage out there, just word of mouth, if nothing else. Yes. We have committees open right now. <laughs> You're going to see me plug that quite a bit in the <laughs> podcast. Um, one of the committees you can join as an ad team member is public service. So if this sounds like something you're interested in um, as a student or a young professional under 32, <laughs> um, you can come, come join our organization and help us with that. We're meeting graphic designers, project managers, um, account executives, really across the board, whatever you're good at, we can utilize your video production, the whole, the whole gamut. <laughs> Very cool. Glad to hear those diverse for some of our listeners out there who might be trying to find ways to get involved where some other organizations may be more focused on one aspect or another of our industry. But you mentioned the different committees. What other committee options are there besides public service? Yes. So we have public service and then also events and Addies. So we work with Ad Club on putting together the Addies. They do a lot of the heavy lifting. I will say that <laughs> we jump in and we do a lot of the fun stuff in the past. We've been involved in planning um, the after party and things like that. We've nailed down this drink sponsor for this year. Think exciting things like that. Um, we're going to help coordinate students on the day of to help run code check and things like that. Still figuring out what our Addie's involvement will look like this year. But if you join our team, that means we can do even more. <laughs> 
And it's a great way to then interact with people in older people in the advertising world that are like, ooh, they're the president of this agency. That's kind of daunting to just go up to them and like talk to them about who you are and what you do. But serving on a committee, you're able to then interact with them, working with them to work toward a common goal of putting together this huge award show. So getting involved in ad too is a good way to just meet people and get to do some cool stuff. Cool. That sounds like it. <laughs> so Anna, as a fellow freestyler on our creative team, what value does being part of ad to bring for your career in the advertising industry? Yeah. Hmm. I could probably say networking. I'm still early in my career and it can be really daunting to then like you see, you see the people who are your managers, your manager's managers, and they seem like they know everyone. And it seems like everyone else just, they know each other and you're just new on the scene and you don't really have that many connections. And it can, it can be daunting. Networking is very daunting, but joining something like add to, um, you're then becoming friends with people at other agencies. You're following them on Instagram. You're celebrating with them when good things happen. Whenever you're going through something like a whole pandemic, <laughs> you're like in the trenches together trying to work to make something good happen. And so you build relationships with these people in the industry and you never know. They might know your next employer, your next boss. They might have um, that little, that secret little secret recipe that you need, that you were looking for, for a client of yours. You're like, we have this problem. I don't know what to do. And so you can like run, run the ideas past people. And ultimately like networking is really hard when you're young because it's, it's daunting. You're like, I, I don't know where to start. Um, so this is a good way to just come to a happy hour. Just get to sit and talk to someone who is also in the same shoes as you and starting off in their career. Maybe you're in your second job or you're just a student and you're like, ah, I don't know where to start. This is scary. Um, and it's, it takes the, a lot of the like fear out of it and puts it in a more casual environment. That sounds great. So what can we expect with Add to this coming year? I know that there are some fun events planned in the works. Is there anything that you're able to talk about right now? Yes. So ultimately, we're active again. Things were a bit hard in a pandemic. It's really hard to host events whenever you can't really meet in, per in person. And there was a lot of burnout happening across our industry. It was just, we're tired, just trying to survive. So we're active again, where our membership base is growing and we have um, a lot of exciting events coming up um, and then monthly happy hours as, as always, um, just having fun. We do have a um, event coming up on November 30th, I'd like to plug. <laughs> so it's Into the Metaverse with Joe Cox. So Ooh. Joe Cox runs, um, he's like a consultant and he runs a, um, like a podcast and speaking thing called um, The Pop Marketer. So he is a pretty cool guy. So he's worked on launching like Red Bull and Vitamin Water and also has worked with brands like Hershey's and Dairy Queen. Whoa! <laughs> and so <laughs> he works a lot with the Ad2 group in Kansas City. So he's very up in current trends and our organization, like from the like whole level, um, so he is going to be a really exciting speaker with some really cool insight into a lot of the trends. A, the metaverse, what does that mean now for marketers? Because um, I know a lot of us do a lot of things on Facebook, <laughs> but then also like looking behind the hype, um, exploring technologies and trends that are like very end of 2021, heading into 2022 related, um, how virtual influencers are taking over, what in the world is an NFT, and why, why it matters. So lots of trending topics that we'll be able to take a deep dive in, ask some questions, and learn a lot. <laughs> That sounds like a really informative luncheon. I know that there are a lot of questions about what the metaverse is right now with Facebook changing their name to Meta and announcing that they want to start 
getting more into the metaverse and having that as more of their parent company. So really curious to hear what his insight is with everything and how that could potentially affect our day-to-day within the advertising industry. Yes. So that is November 30th. And that's not over lunch. If you're an ad team member, it is free. You can go to our social media to sign up. If you're not an ad team member, it's $10. So if you're listening in, you're like, I'm not fully sure if I'm ready to commit, you can join in and see what one of our events would be like. And we have some other exciting things coming too. We don't just do speakers. Um, We might have something, um, I'll give you two hints coming in December, beer and pong. (laughs) <laughs> so I don't I don't know if you'll be able to crack that one um but we have some fun things in the works <laughs> cool 2021 sounds like that it's closing out well and add to is active again which is so exciting so what's in store for 2022 so we have a lot of more exciting events um we're also in the process of rebranding so we've done a bit of a soft launch on social media updating those things our website is under construction so For up-to-date information, go to social media. We're in the process of revamping that and that will launch in 2022. Add to National, we've rebranded as a whole, um, like through the parent organization. And so we have some, a lot of exciting things. They put together this lovely logo that matches um, like what the other ad clubs look like. And then our big, big, big parent brand is AAF. So the American Advertising Federation. Not a lot of people know that. So we're, we're very involved with them and they do some cool things. Very cool. Yeah, that's great to know. More things to plug, AAF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're great. What is the best way to get involved with Add to OKC okay, for our listeners who are really excited about a lot of the things that you're saying? Maybe you want to come to that mysterious event in December that you're talking about or network, see some of these other speakers. How do you recommend going about getting involved? Yeah, the best way to get involved is by joining a committee. So I'll just recap what they are. We have Addies, public service, and events. So if you're like, oh, I want to be involved in planning, whatever that um, beer pong thing might be, um, you could join our events committee and help organize what our beer sponsor might look like or what um, our venue would be. And then also lots of exciting things happening in 2022. Public service, you can use the things that you're good at and the things that you do in your daily job and just take on one more client essentially and do some cool things. And then with Addies, you'll work with me and we'll work with the Ad Club board and doing some cool things with Addies coming up um, early 2022. So lots of exciting things. One thing I do want to say about committees, this isn't a huge time commitment. You can make it what you want to. Maybe you're like, okay, I can only handle like a couple of tasks. That's cool. Or if you're like, no, I am full, I am full on in, give me things every week. We will make that happen too. So it's not like this huge, like, we need 10 hours a week from you. That's not the case. (laughs) You really get to join, you get to make friends in the industry and you're like working together for a common goal, which is helpful. (laughs) And you get to do some cool stuff that you can be proud of. You can put on a resume, talk about in a job interview. Also, your employers love this stuff. If you get involved in stuff like this, they're like, yes, let me actually pay for it. So definitely talk to your employer if you're interested in getting involved um, because there's a very good chance that they'll pay for your membership. That's what a lot of our um, members do. Well, very cool. Anna, thank you so much for talking with us today. For our listeners, follow Add to OKC at social media to learn more and get involved. Thanks for listening to the RFP podcast and have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you.